You notice the complete lack of droid sets recently, as well as the lack of droid battle packs. I mean, the only way to get a droid is through other clone based sets, which such as the ATTE, as well as the Republic Fighter Tank. Now, me personally, I do not like this. I think there should be more droids in every set than clones if it is a one-to-one -one, because droids are a lot less effective than clone troopers. So today, I decided to challenge myself and build a droid army two times the size of my clone trooper army. And if I do not complete this, I will have to sell my entire clone army, as you can see here. This is my droid force, and, well, the clones definitely outmatch it. Plus, we will be adding vehicles and hopefully getting a... Yeah, bigger separatist alliance advantage. So first I decided to add my ATTE for the clones, which I will just be adding my entire clone uh, arsenal. Then we have the fighter tank, as well as the Republic speeder with a little bay on the side so you can put your clone troopers if they are hurt in battle and rush them to a field hospital. Next, I will be adding these unique 501st custom speeders I've got from an Instagram page. This is my entire clone collection. Now we have my droid collection with the spider droid, as well as a custom tank for the Separatist Alliance. This is literally the only vehicles I have for my Separatist Alliance, so we will have to be building this up in this video. I consider this a success for day one, as I've built my entire Separatist army and my clone trooper army as well, that will hopefully be able to be rivaled by the Separatist army. So yeah, see you guys in day two. I literally just woke up on day two, and my brother came in, and said he would sell me these droids for five dollars that was an easy steal for me because you know i'm doing this video and all and i'm not trying to sell my clone troopers so i will literally do anything to keep them for a very successful start to day two i drove and went to pick up this mtt from facebook marketplace you've probably seen this in a previous haul video <laughs> After I completed building the MTT, I placed it down. Now, this is the older one, and I would much rather prefer the new one, but this is also a way cheaper one, so I just decided it looked just fine. Anyway, it did come with six battle droids. Now, I did buy something else in this lot, but it did take me a while to place this because it does look a little awkward right behind it. The base plates aren't really in great positioning for this, and I did not want to move my four droids because they are holding the line against the clone troopers. But anyway, I moved my one tank, Separatist Alliance tank, right by the MTT. And yeah, and I looked back in the bag, and I remembered the other thing that came in it, these pack of droids. So I built them up really fast. They were commando droids as well as this little droid right here, which I do need some more variety, so this is great. After completing all of this, I decided to take the rest of the day two off and rest up for day three and four. I woke up on day three with a package at my door, and I was very excited about this package. However, it did not come with the correct things. It came with the right parts to build these droids, did not come with the battle droids I requested, the B1s. So I had to just take the rest of day three off. I mean, there was not a lot I could do in the situation, and I was very disappointed. I woke up on day four with a positive attitude because I just got to pick up this giant droid lot. Now, I did not film the whole thing because I didn't want to weird them out, but this was an absolute steal. Here's a small time lapse of me building these sets. <laughs> Okay, so I just opened up the snail tank, as well as this, uh, whatever, the rocket droid, as well as the uh, little droid carrier, and then I also placed a couple more battle droids down, 
Anyway, it's coming along nicely. So first of all, he included two customs. Custom Imperial Stormtrooper with a just a random head. I mean, that looks good, but as well as a custom 501st Trooper. I really like this, so just want to say thank you if he's watching this video. That is sick. I'm not gonna lie, I just found out how cool this set actually is. I think this is much better than the 2020 version. I mean, look at this. So there's a little area in the back, right? Looks like an empty space. Well, there's a vehicle that comes with it that slides in the back and you can prop it up just like this as it's like a little ramp. And then to access it if you want some more room, you can look in here, and so it's a cockpit, but it ejects. Now, I don't know what this thing does, but like, I think it's meant to push it out. I don't know, but this thing is sick. The top hatch closes and everything like this one, but it's got a better interior, in my opinion. It can hold a whole vehicle, and look how big it is. That is sick. I mean, look at it compared to your average battle droid. Sorry, there's in pieces, because they do craft easily, these older ones, but yeah, look how big that is. That's crazy. And here for our last set, we have the General Grievous Starfighter. did include one minifigure, a General Grievous, one of the older versions, but it does have a cracked hand, unfortunately, and it is very loose. Considering it is so old, it is still in very good condition. Now, the only thing I do have to complain about is the arm. Here's me adding some lightsabers, which are included with the General Grievous Starfighter, that are included for General Grievous, anyway. And I'm just saying, General Grievous will help add some command structure to this droid army, which I would say is almost complete. Now, I am on my last day, and my packages have not arrived yet. So, unfortunately, I'm going to call it the end of the day, the end of the four days. And, yeah, now we're going to go see if it is worth it, and let's see if it can combat my clone force. Now, I have my entire clone force lined up, as well as my entire droid force. And, yeah, I won't be including the General Groove Starfighter in this, because I do agree that air superiority would win you the battle and it's not really fair that they have a starship and they, these guys the clone troopers do not but i do have a clone vehicle up there it's the custom captain rex's y-wing i just decided not to use it for this video uh anyway i do have some broken droids again but this is the real question would who would win in the fight so i guys i want you to comment down below and yeah in my personal opinion, I don't think the clones have a chance. I mean, they got two tanks. They have a much better force than them. Plus, they have General Grievous, which, in my opinion, is an automatic dome. If We've completed the army. So first, we have our General Grievous with six command droids, three on each side. Then we have the spider droids to the far right on the far left. We have the B2s, and then right behind him, we have B1s. We have more B1s getting off the MTT. Then on the right of the MTT, we have the troop transport that could carry more B1s or B2s. Then we have the tactical droid. I don't even know what this thing's called. The rocket droid from the Battle of Geonosis, which looks amazing. Then we have a uh, B1 on a staff, as well as the snail tank, which I wish I would have had one more of, but I think it looks amazing. Then we have the two tanks in the back, and these are absolutely beautiful together. Now, I know I I wish I could have just another one instead of this, but honestly, I'm glad I didn't buy the tan one because I'm glad the colors match a little bit. So we have pretty much matchy-matchy for almost everything. We got the spider droids that match the snail tank. The staff matches the MTT and the troop transport in these two vehicles. 
and then the tanks match each other. This is amazing, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.